Hello and welcome to the Buying King Stock Market Q&A live stream. I answer questions exclusively asked by my Discord members. So if you have a question for me and you'd like to get it answered in a video, please join my Discord. The link is in the video description below. I'm not a big fan at where, te of where Tesla is at at the moment. It's just, it's way too rich for me right now. If I wasn't buying it before, I'm definitely not buying it now. Wow, almost $500 a share after the split. Tesla stock is up. 11% today, nearly 12%. Just ridiculous. Um, this is a company that now has a market capitalization of $460 billion. Crazy. A PE ratio of 1,277. Now, we've talked before on why that doesn't matter. This is a company that's newly profitable, so their profits are, are very low compared to where they're estimated to be in the future. Obviously, Tesla is a stock that trades um, at a future valuation. So, uh, you know, don't get too caught up in uh, the stock price has to be what they're making in profits right now. It's easy to think that way. And sometimes I get that way because I'm such a, a follower of Warren Buffett and, and I have to like buy stocks when they're at fair values. But Tesla is, is clearly a company that's growing. But even, even having said that, this company is still too expensive for me. And I'll show you guys why, okay? So Tesla's profits are obviously weak, right? Um, 36 cents or 37 cents of EPS, which means uh, earnings per share. So with every share you buy at $500 a share of Tesla, only 40 cents of that accounts for how much profit they made these trailing 12 months, which isn't a whole lot. Uh, so you're pretty much paying $500 for a company that's making 40 cents in profits in one year not great but another statistic i want to look at is also their revenue so how does revenue compare to their current price right now so 2019 revenue was 24 and a half billion dollars this year they're estimated to bring in around 30 billion dollars for tesla 30 or 31 billion something in that in that ballpark so if tesla brings in 30 billion dollars in revenue for 2020 and their market cap is 460 billion that means they have a price to sales ratio 460 divided by 31 let's be generous of a 14.8x now i'm not a big fan of a stock that has a price to sales ratio of anything higher than a 10 15 honestly isn't that horrible it's bad and I'm not going to buy it at this uh, ratio. But, you know, I've seen a lot worse. I've seen up in the 40s. I've seen I've seen even higher than that. But yeah, Tesla's got a, a really rich valuation for how many sales that they're going to be doing in 2020. And that's not even mentioning their assets. So as you guys can see, we go to their balance sheet and we see, okay, how many assets, total assets does Tesla have? about 34 billion dollars of assets and this is a company that's trading at 460 dollars 460 billion dollar market cap um you know all tesla needs is one underwhelming quarter for this stock to really just not have a great day or a great week uh, i don't wish anything bad on any tesla shareholders of course if you hold tesla then i i hope it really pays off for you and i'm sure it has <laughs> because if you invested in july of 2019 and you've still held till now you've made what 20x on your money just ridiculous so those are my thoughts on tesla being at this price right now not a big deal if uh if you're a person that's going to be holding this stock for the long run i'm definitely not buying this stock right now though and I'm not advising anyone to buy or sell or hold this stock. I don't give anybody financial advice, but um, that's my two cents on Tesla stock right now. And another thing I wanted to touch on was what stock I will buy Apple stock at. So everybody's been really confused with the whole stock split and everything. And they're like, okay, after the stock split is Apple stock a buy. Will you be buying Apple stock at $130 a share? right now or what price will you buy apple stock at and what i want to do today is i want to do a breakdown for you guys on how 
I find a good buying price for a stock based on, I just realized my, so I just want to show you guys kind of the process that I go through when determining how to buy a stock. I, I do so much more research than I'm about to show you guys, but there's all sorts of different ratios you guys can go into. Um, right now I'm going to be doing the price to earnings ratio. You can also look at price to sales. If it's a startup and uh, they're not producing great profits right now, it's, it's a good way to go with the price to sales ratio. Also the price to book ratio. So price to sales is you divide the market cap of the company by the amount of revenue that they did this last year. Price to book is you divide the market cap of the company by the amount of total assets that they have. I'm going to be dividing the market cap of the company by the amount of profit that they're expected to make in 2021. I like getting Apple at a discount, so we'll see what we come up with. Apple just split. The share price is $130 a share. Market cap of $2.2 trillion dollars crazy they added another 200 billion onto their 2 trillion that they just hit like what a week ago it's ridiculous so the way we're gonna find how much profit apple can make in 2021 is simply by taking the profit that apple has already produced this year and multiplying it by whatever growth they usually um, grow by year over year so what i did was i found Apple's EPS for um, Q1 2020, Q2 2020, Q3 2020, and Q Q4 2019 since Q4 hasn't happened yet in 2020. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the EPS from each of these quarters and then multiply it by, uh, by the growth that I think Apple can grow at. Uh, I go through, so we're going to do 499 plus... 255 is what they made in Q2. And then Q3 uh, 2020, which just passed, was 258. So we're going to get this answer. We're going to hold on to this number for a bit, 1012, because I'm going to take Apple's. This is uh, Q4 2019, since Q4 2020 hasn't happened yet. So we're going to take $3.03. So $3. Dollars and three cents, and we're going to multiply it by uh, something conservative. Let's do 15%. So, if Apple grows their profits by 15% in Q4 this year, then this is the number that they'll have. So, then we add this to 303. So, this should be uh, conservatively if Apple grows profits by 15% this year then they will report $3.48 of EPS in Q4 2020. So now we're going to add this by the number that we saved earlier. Can, can I not paste that? So I'm going to say 1015 equals. So in 2020, Apple will have around $13.63 in EPS. Uh, this is with me predicting what uh, Q4's earnings numbers are going to look like. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this number and we're going to multiply it by 15%. So 1363, 1363, and then 1363. Now, by a projection, if Apple were to grow their earnings by 15% next year, then in 2021, they will report a total earnings per share of $15 and 67 cents a share. But remember, Apple just did a stock split. So they have four times as many shares out in the market now. And this means that we need to divide this number by four, four, and this is actually what EPS will look like in 2021, but there's more shares out there, so that's not such a big deal. And then we do the forward PE for 2021, which will be, so we take the current stock price right now of Apple, which is, $130 we'll call it and we divide it by this number 392 equals and that gives us our forward PE ratio for Apple as of 2021 now this is a little high for me for a growth stock I like a PE ratio of less than a 28 if we can get to that Apple historically trades at around a 17 times PE ratio. Now, that's about half 
what the stock price is right now if we were to do that but I'll, I'll give apple the benefit of a doubt and and price them as a growth stock since they do have the services sector growing and they're growing in a different direction from just hardware sales we'll see what the price is at around a 25 times pe ratio which i will likely buy more shares of apple at if it were to be around a 25 times pe ratio so what we do is we take erase that okay so we take the current stock price right now and we divide it by the forward PE ratio of a 33 and then we get this number which is the EPS number that we we just had earlier um, and what we're gonna do with this number is we're gonna multiply it by whatever PE ratio you'd like to buy the stock at and that will give you the stock price that uh, you should purchase at. so for me I'm getting $98 a share for Apple stock so essentially under $100 a share is when I will likely buy back into Apple stock and that's assuming that Apple's only growing their profits at 15% year over year but if they're growing at higher uh, at a higher growth percentage like a 20% or a 25% growth percentage year over year then then it could be the buy price is even higher than this so um, I hope you guys learned something there and you guys can kind of do your own math when deciding what's a good time to buy a stock at when you're doing the, the forward PE ratio formula that I just showed. So my buy price for Apple is around $98 a share. Thank you for watching the Bind King Q&A stock market live stream. I answer questions exclusively asked by my Discord members. So if you have a question for me and you'd like to get it answered in a video, please join my Discord group. The link is in the video description below. Thank you.